Hello everyone, welcome back. I had a recent stroke of luck. I managed to pull six marrow extracts from a war orb, so here we are. Carnage is ready to go, ready to head into Dark Dimension 3. I maxed his passive for the extra speed. And I did his basic because I think that it's going to be his most used skill, both from assisting Miss Marvel and for spreading debuffs. Okay, so let's get into Dark Dimension 3 and see how he does. If you watched my previous videos, you saw that I started the city section with only two, already did the first node, now I'm now I am on the second node. I did one fight, I think. Let me check. Or maybe two. Yeah, so I did two fights. The third was yesterday when I got Carnage. I took him in alone. Just because. Why not? Okay. So this is normally day 3 of node 14 and let's see how this team will do together and I think I want to change them up a bit okay this way when Miss Marvel turns she will not be in the middle Okay, here we go. I'm hoping this will be a huge improvement. They will be able to soak more damage, they will put out more damage, they will put out more buffs, so... The difference should really be obvious. Okay, don't want to attack here, so let's start with this guy. I think human torch is the best choice. I think as he already has defense down. Okay, let's spread that. Come on, don't kill him. Okay. I guess I have to do this. More spreading. If I had Venom in here, ooh, they would be doing a lot of damage. Okay, a little more buffs. I need one more turn for Miss Marvel to hang on. Do I get to heal her? This is the biggest threat. Yeah, I think this is right. Let's spread it.
There we go. Ouch. Ouch. Now I think I need to go for Johnny. This. I thought that would be more damage. No way. There goes this marble. Ouch. He's bugged. Okay, do I try again? Or do I end it right here? I guess might as well end it. Yeah, who knows if I'm gonna get Miss Marvel to heal again. And did two and a half million. That's not bad. I'm hoping by the time I reach the fourth node I can bring in Ghost Rider as well. And maybe even one more if I'm lucky with with superior basic catalyst. to get rid of Johnny here. Okay, this comes in handy. And bye bye Johnny. Okay, think the next problematic Thing should go next. Ooh, and Jessica Jones should be the next. We don't want her to clear debuffs. I forgot about her. Ooh, five energy. Nice. That means we can stun someone. Ah, I think I'll keep it for later. Let's apply some defense downs first. Or maybe her special. No, defense downs. Okay, JJ is out of the way. This is good. No need to get rid of Shuri. Might as well get rid of Mbaku first, since he's solo. Okay. Glad I kept this. Now let's focus her down. Here, have some more debuffs. That should kill her. What do we do next? Okay, let's handle Mbaku before he taunts. Down you go. Or not.
and Baku goes down. Let's prolong these. Okay, this is looking very well. And not looking so well anymore. Let's handle Johnny first. Right in time. That stun seems to always come in just in the nick of time. I don't like you. We have some time to handle Thor until he gets to his ultimate. Have one more bleed. Have another. Let's heal Miss Marvel. Might as well kill this one also. Okay, this is looking way better than I expected. And there we go. Team of three, team of three takes down the node. Granted, it's not from the beginning, but. Let's see how much damage I did. I forgot to check. Five, five million point nineteen. Very nice. So the um, the difference with Carnage is obvious. Like these are the scores with Carnage, and here are the scores without him. If you saw my other video, you saw how the team did on the previous node as well, so yeah, Carnage really pulls his weight around here. Especially because the enemies die so easily, so they get a lot of returns. That will change on the final node, hopefully it will still go well on this one. And this is this is pure fox next like put sinister six members on a node which requires you to bring in city characters but let's see maybe it's not that bad i'm just saying that to, to make myself feel better <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty bad now who do i want to kill first either the healer or Scarlet Witch or we could go for Rhino because he he will get more he will get more life as soon as Sinister Six members drop. And right now he's the only Sinister Six. Right now he's the only Sinister Six member. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for him. There we go. If this is not the best play, I can always reset it. Yeah, I don't want you to taunt.
Okay, don't kill my carnage. Why isn't Miss Marvel taunting? Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Let's just restart this. Okay, same idea. Let's try it again. Hopefully this time it will it will go better. They just need to split their damage, not target one of my guys. Okay, so again, hit Rhino, and this guy, give him some more energy. They got a lot more strong. So what's with my frames per second? They weren't this low before. Well, new plan. Killing... Killing Scarlet Witch first. Okay, take a stun. This is not working out. You know what I wonder? I wonder if we get the old mercenaries or the new mercenaries, like the lieutenant. Is in the new version or the old version? Because the new version would suck. Like it would suck very, very bad. For me, that is. Until I kill Vision, they will always have defense up first turn, so I, I have no idea what to do. I'll just keep going for Scarlet Witch.
the frames per second are really killing me. Okay, first time I actually get a turn after their first barrage. I guess I'm keeping this. At least it got rid of Juggernaut Stunt. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Go. Note 3, definitely more challenging than Note 1 and 2. Okay, like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.